Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about Chanel and their spring summer makeup release. So I've got a lot of stuff to get into. We've got an eyeshadow palette. We've got two blushes. We've got a balm, multi-purpose balm, and we have a lip product. So if you want to see swatches, if you want to see how this whole face came together and what this cute thing is on my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before we jump into this exciting Chanel spring video, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I am rocking a very special color. I am so in love with our Coco Blush Boho Head Wrap that is now finally, finally back in stock. This is one of those colors that people loved immediately. It's such an interesting hue. So there's a, it's like a, a, a brownish tan. So a Coco Blush is the um, shade and I just love it. So we know long piece of stretchy fabric, fashion it into any style you want, a slight sheen to kick it up, you know, give it the little sophisticated kick. You can wear it to the gym. You can wear it out to run errands. You can wear it on date night, hanging out with your friends. It's a multi-purpose uh, head wrap. And on the listings, every listing, there's a video of how to do it. There's a tutorial picture, tutorial how to use it. I typically do it super simple, just wrap it around a couple of times and I'm done. Our customers, however, get much more creative than I do. Um, so yeah, this is our Coco Blush. I'm so excited this is back in stock, you don't know. We make all the products ourselves. And if you want to check out any of our Boho head wraps, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. The links will be in the description below. Okay, I just wanna wish you all a very, very happy new year, a healthy new year, and a safe new year. Um, I had a really awesome year on YouTube last year, and I wanna thank you all. I met um, my YouTube goals. Um, my community continued to grow, which is always in business, in YouTube, um, uh, the goal. Um, thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And really, really, really thank you for all the comments. Um, that was a, a big improvement for me. There's more um, comments and I appreciate you all for leaving them and sharing with me your makeup loves and just having fun in the comments. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. So thank you for that, helping me meet my goals on YouTube. This year is going to be, I said it, I'm going to be adding like more fragrance videos things that I love outside of makeup and, and, and even brushes. I have so many brushes that I, I use, but I don't talk about. So I may do some vi videos dedicated to brushes as like get ready with me using the brushes with some products that I have here that may not be new. Um, I'm trying to be super mindful this year. I really, really, really want to concentrate on products and brands that excite me. And I know that if I, everything that comes out, if I grabbed it, I'm sure I could grow my channel even faster, but I don't want to. Um, uh, I really wanna focus on things that excite me and that leads us to today's video. We have the first Chanel video of the year with their one of their spring collections. This beauty industry is all over the place. It's like 55 collections per season now. It's like spring light, spring first, so spring beginning, spring middle, spring end, then we're gonna have, you know, fall, winter, beginning, it, it's a lot. So this is the first go round for spring. They've got some exciting stuff coming up. I have a second video coming up from Chanel, which will include a new um, foundation, some new uh, lip cheek products. So there's some stuff. Got a second video coming up. I've got some Dior coming up. I've got some Tom Ford coming up. So there's things that intrigue me that I'm excited to bring to you guys in the next few weeks. So let's start with this nail polish because as you know, I use my hands a lot. So you're gonna be seeing the color. So let's start there. This is one of the spring shades. There's also a light yellow that I'm was thinking about. This one is 917 Terra Rosa, a very pretty, uh, corally pinky color perfect for, perfect for spring but also really nice for now when you just want the pick me up we're having like rain and cloudy days and so these brighter things scents to brighter scents that might be for spring and summer and brighter colors that might typically be for spring and summer it's nice to give you a pick me up and i love getting having fun with nails to me it's such a nice way to inject a bit of color um when you don't want to 
do too much with your wardrobe. So that is the first thing from spring, okay? I have it on right now. Again, very, very pretty color. Nice, glossy finish. Okay, so here is the eyeshadow palette, the Mediterranean eyeshadow palette 747 is the number a very pretty shimmer situation um they look similar on camera in person you can see the differences it looks very there's like a classy situation going here on here with these colors very very subtle but very very pretty so let's let's swatch these and then i'm gonna pull together an eye look so these swatch much more interesting than I thought they would. Very interesting color. This is like a khaki bronze. It's very, very interesting and very, it's very pretty. It's very, very pretty. I'm excited to try this one on. Um, this one here, these two give sort of like a peachiness to them that I didn't think they would have. This one has a little more flex of glitter, silver glitter here, but a pale peach on me. Um, this one is a, a little, a little deeper, a peach, there's no flecks of silver, but still very pretty, very close to my skin tone. As is this one, which is like a, a, a goldy color, like a pale gold, sort of matches my skin tone too. I love these colors that match my skin tone for the days where I just want a little something, not a lot of color, just look put together, but I don't want a whole lot of stuff going on. I really love the finish. They swatch like a dream, really easy, you can see that that sheen in all of them uh very pretty i'm excited to try this on and see what we can come up with the colors are different but close different but close so we'll see how that comes out on the eyes and if we can differentiate between the the different shades Okay, I love how beautifully this wears. I think it wears so, so pretty. I love that sheen. I love that sheen. And that khaki, bronzy color was absolutely necessary. It ties it in beautifully. Uh, I, I love it, I love it. And in my last video, I was talking about how not to do uh, glitter in a shadow, and they nailed it um, with this color here, okay? That one, this one here on my hand, the second one I said had some silver flecks in it. Perfect, because it was so blendable that I was able to just put it in the brow bone, put it in the uh, tear duct, 
and keep it moving. It wasn't sticking, it wasn't doing anything. Just a beautiful, beautiful formula, beautiful sheen. It just looks so seamless on the eyes going from one color to the next. Now I can see the different colors, okay? I can see the different colors. I did start with this one though, and then put this one on the lid, and um, that one might be a little trickier to see. Um, I could choose one or the other, or the way I do it, just change it up. But I do see the different colors, and I think it's a really beautiful palette. Is it the most exciting palette? That's for you to decide, I don't know. I don't know, I think it's very pretty, and I think it's very wearable, and I think it'll look really pretty on uh, different skin tones. Um, yeah, this is really nice. I just like how it wears, and the sheen is very sophisticated, and I'm a fan. Okay, so let's get to these cheeks. I put some mascara on, but this is so beautiful. Blush Lumiere Illuminating Blush Powder. This is Brun Russi, okay? This is like a brownish red kind of color. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. And the design that's on this runs throughout the collection. The, uh, all four shadows have the same uh, design inside. Oh, I forgot to mention something about the packaging. I don't even remember if this is true of Chanel, so maybe it is. I just can't remember. But the color of the products are uh, on each um, on each thing. Now, what's interesting about the, the eyeshadow, every side is a different color to tell you the four colors that you should be expecting in the palette. And the same is true for the, uh, the blush. Okay, so this is the blush, the, one of the blushes. So I thought that was a really, uh, a really nice touch. But this one is such an interesting shade. I don't want to mess it up. But let's get this swatched. Hmm, this is beautiful. This might be a unique blush shade in my collection. It's like a, should I say like a brownish terracotta. Oh, this is a very, very pretty shade. Oh, I would love to see how this shows up on different different skin tones. This is very, very pretty. And it's very, very creamy, okay? It's really, really creamy, which is nice. A nice uh, consistency. And um, yeah, it's like a creamy powder. I'm all for this. Let's get, these, let's get this one on the cheeks. And just an FYI, this was a standout product for me. When I saw this one, I was like, I want to have that one, so let's go. Ooh, beautiful, guys. Oh, this is a beautiful shade. Oh, and it's blending out so easily. Oh, oh, I love this. You know how you know a product? You know when it's when, when you get it that you're gonna love it. You can tell like you're gonna love it. And this was one that I was like, oh yeah. Now I could stop there and I probably would stop there, but let's just, just a little bit more blend it up a little bit. Beautiful. So creamy, so seamless, so kind to the to the skin, not sinking in. It's just a beautiful, y'all know, mid-40s. I gotta get the things that I feel like are kindest to my skin. No tugging, no emphasizing, uh, none of that. So I want it to be easy, pigmented, and beautiful. That's a stunner. That's very, very pretty, excited. Let's see, let's, let's see what this other one's talking about. I call 2021 the year of the blush because I swear everybody and their mama was coming out with blushes last year. So I got my, my fill of blushes. And I said, no, not this year, nope. I'm probably gonna, and then Chanel hit me with this color because I thought I'd seen it all. But I, this is, this is, this is, this is very pretty. This is very, very pretty, guys. This one is, same design, of course, Peche Rosé. Okay, so we've got a peachy one. Now strangely, this is like, but this is not just peach. This is giving like terracotta, peachy goodness. Now interestingly enough, I like peach uh, blushes. This is a shade that I don't have a lot of. I don't know why every time I see it, I'm like, I need a peach one. Like I want a straight up like peach, peachy blush. I don't have a lot of them. I gravitate towards, don't ask me why. Does it, I don't know why, I just get, pinks and berry colors and so this is a beautiful beautiful peachy shade that i'm hoping you're able to see put a little bit on more on there and see i absolutely expect this is going to show up on my cheeks so i'm excited this is a very pretty shade but you can see the two together really really nice excited let's go
This one is very, very pretty as well. It is much more subtle, but it's still very, very pretty. And so I'm a fan of subtle blush, so that works out. I think this is very, very pretty. Now, is this shade going to be something that you, you know, maybe you have something, the peachy, if you're into peachy, you might have something similar to this, like a peachy terracotta. So there's a, there's a little bit more interest there of just straight peach. It's a, it's a, interesting situation, but maybe you have something like this. And so maybe this one's not calling you as much for me from the between the two of them. This is obviously the star because it's a much more interesting color, but I will absolutely get use of this because I love how it feels on the skin. I love how blendable it is and how easily it goes on. And it is a subtle peach color. And I hope, hope, hope that you are getting this on camera, this color too. So this one is Brun, what do we say this one? Brown Rusi. And this one is Peche Rosé. Rosi. Rosi? It's two E's. So Rosé is one E. Uh, Rosi, maybe, is the, the peachy one here. Very, very pretty. See, we got some, the colors, the spring colors, the cheeks. Very, very pretty. Let's move on to the highlighter. Okay, so I finally got one of their Balm Essential uh, multi-purpose sticks. I've always wanted one, and the colors that were coming out, I was like, nah. you know, they were okay. I don't know why I didn't get one, but I wanted one, and this was the chance to do it. Very, very pretty color. Very, very pretty color. And this can be worn on the, uh, the cheeks, the lips, they say, I think. Here it is here, a nice little creamy glossy situation it is has a peach peachy gold so like a peach gold rose gold to it so very very pretty i'm excited to try this on ahora mismo right okay um let's just oh maybe i should start with the lips let's try it on the lips and then see what i think let's try that let's start there and i suppose the eyes you know as well you can i'm just gonna since it's unused. Oh, this is pretty on the list. <laughs> hmm. Yes. To me, this feels very summer finish, you know, when you have a tan and like you have on a little bit of makeup that makes everything just gives you like a bronzy kind of monochromatic situation this is very pretty oh it feels nice on the lips too hmm huh. i i say it again i don't typically like these multi-purpose sticks on the lips just there's a disconnect for me and my lips but i like the color and i like how this feels so now let's just get this on the cheeks and see how we're digging it as a uh highlighter okay i love that it's cream first of all Love that, so that, <clears throat> again, it's not sinking into any lines, nothing crazy. It feels really nice on the lips, the lips, the lips too. The, the skin, not doing too crazy, very pretty. Works nicely with the, um, the blush and gives me a nice glow, not too over the top. Very nice glow there. The whole look gave it a nice little glowy situation so i'm totally seeing the whole spring summer feel of the shades and this product i like it a lot I, i'm such a i'm a, such a glow girl i like a nice a nice little bit of glow so i'm really enjoying this with the with the blushes very very pretty we've got the eyes the sheen on the eyes really really nice Final step, let's get to these lips. Oh, and this looks amazing on the lips too, but I'm gonna switch it up now and get to the lip color.
Okay, so we're gonna end it with the Rouge Coco Balm. This is my first one of these. I actually don't have so, so many Chanel lip products for whatever reason, but I do really enjoy what I have. And here it is swatched. Very, very pretty, pretty color. Um, this one is 914 Natural Charm. Of course, they released a few, like five or six or something like that, but I just wanted to get one because like I said, I don't wanna get overwhelmed with lipstick as a product. I'm being very, very careful about this year. So yes, let's get this one on. It's very, very pretty. It feels really, really nice on my lips. A very pretty color, peachy. Maybe there's like a, a brown, a brownness to it. So like a peachy brown on me. Works beautifully with the other colors, the both blushes, the, the balm stick, the, the highlighter stick, glow stick. It works with everything. It works with the peach almost in the, in the eyes. So I, I get this collection. I'm getting the collection. Very, very nice. It's a, it's a balm, okay? So it's a very nice balm. There's not crazy saturation because it's a balm, but I can definitely see a light uh, wash of this peachy color that's very, very pretty and will be perfect for spring and summer or all year round whenever you want just a little hint of color with a balm formula. So a nice nourishing, uh, creamy formula on your lips. I'm happy with it. Very, very pretty color. Now see, and I, I kept going because it's one of those shades that or formula that I have to build up on my lips because my lips are darker, but it takes me there. So that's it for me, guys. Very exciting collection. Happy about this uh, being my first makeup video of the year. Chanel coming through with sophisticated beauty. I expect that. I love, again, the finish of these eyeshadows. I just, I just love the sophistication of it. And I love these blushes. This is my love, my new love, this beautiful shade here. The peach is also very, very pretty, just more subtle. And I do love the formula. It's a, it's a, it's a nice for me. It's like a, there's a creaminess to it. So it just sits really, really nicely as does the balm. Uh, my first go around with one of those. Love the glow. I didn't expect this much glow. Really, really beautiful amount of glow, but not overwhelming. Okay. Not overwhelming. And because all the, because it's a cream, it's really, my, my skin prefers uh, cream uh, because they, they wear more seamlessly. Yeah, I'm loving everything. And the lipstick is a very pretty, the balm is a very pretty, pretty. And nothing in this collection to me is too va 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 me in terms of colors, but it's a, it's like a restrained elegance. That's what I like about everything. There's a, there's a restrained elegance here and I am quite the fan, okay? Very pretty and I will be using all of these products again and again. Chanel with their beautiful formulas. Happy, 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 happy. Let me know if you got anything from this collection. Let me know if you're planning on getting anything from this spring collection. And like I said, I've got some new uh, Chanel coming to you very, very soon. A new foundation, some lip cheek colors and something else in there. So I've got some more Chanel coming your way as well as other brands. I'm excited how this is starting out. I'm, I'm excited about the products I'm seeing um, yeah, and I can't wait to bring them to you. So let me know if you got it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I have these new videos coming. I really do appreciate it when you do. And of course, if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, and all our other uh, silk and linen hair accessories, just visit us at breezytea.com. The links will be in the description below. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.